Well, Tony, I asked you this over the last couple of days. You walk off the court in Charlotte. What did you envision this year being like? I didn't know, but I knew it started um, preparing for what this year would bring. When I decided to put Kyle Guy and Ty Jerome on the podium with me after the UMBC game, it was intentional because I knew that they were going to have to face it. I was going to have to face it together, and it would just toughen us if we used it right. And we had that quote, if you learn to use it right, it'll buy you a ticket to a place you couldn't have gone any other way, and that, I think, was the case. You guys had a great regular season, but in this tournament, how do you explain what happened with Purdue, with Auburn, and even here tonight against Texas Tech? All good gifts come from the father of the heavenly lights. I think he was shining down on us, and uh, just great plays by the players, and uh, blessed without a doubt, fortunate. You can use whatever word you want. I know, I know what was going on. I do. What made it so difficult to beat this Texas Tech team? Ooh, they uh, defensively, those were two good defensive teams. They switch, they're quick, they impose. So we had to do some different stuff leading up to this game that we haven't done all year. Florida State switched some. Virginia Tech clogged the lane like them. Duke switched some. But they, you know, numbers-wise, were one of the best, I think, in the last two decades. And I thought we actually, guys had to make plays, but I thought our attack was pretty solid. What did the experience, what happened with Purdue, help you guys, you know, Hunter's shot to get this game into an overtime situation? Huge. Well, I'll tell you what I told them before the game. No one has faced the kind of pressure they faced all year, but being down 14 against Gardner-Webb, and they didn't panic, and they fought. And I said, that has prepared you to handle pressure when the lights are bright in this kind of setting. And I think, as hard as that was, it, again, steeled us or toughened us up. We talked about this. Your dad made an un unbelievable sacrifice to come out of retirement. To go to Pullman, Washington to give you a chance. How do you thank him for what ultimately led you to this moment? Well, I'm going to take him to play out Augusta, so hopefully that'll be a thank you. No, he took the bullets for three years, and uh, anytime you get over this, all the people that have poured into your life, his impact on me as a coach, as a young man, is significant. So I, I give him so much thanks. Congratulations, Tony. You're a national champion. <laughs> thanks, Andy. I like the sound of that.